Sudan's Minister of Petroleum is a firm believer that African solutions lie firmly in African hands. Uh, what I mean by that is this experience that we had together, uh, both the Ministry of Petroleum and Minerals in Sudan and the Ministry of Petroleum in uh, South Sudan, where we cooperated to revive some of the uh, oil fields of South Sudan that have been idle for uh, more than five years. And it was an experience where we put hands together uh, with full confidence we managed actually to achieve this task in record time with 100% uh, uh, effort that was devoted from Sudanese and South Sudanese. And I call it the Sudan um, model or Sudan, South Sudan model because we really would like to share that with other African countries. And we think, we think it should be beneficial uh, for others because there is a misconception about the oil industry. Some people think that this is so difficult and it only can be done by the Western uh, companies. We have proved that this is not correct, it's not true. And it's been case in point, and that's why we really want to take this and showcase it, you know, for all of our uh, uh, friends and uh, uh, countries in Africa. The war and secession of South Sudan have had an impact on oil production that continues today. The other issue also secession of South Sudan, which took place in 2011. Uh, and along with it, uh, we, um, Sudan, has lost about 75% of the oil resources because before secession, we were producing as one country uh, close to uh, 500,000 uh, barrels a day. Uh, now, both countries are producing less than 200,000 barrels. Uh, so that tells you know, the story about the war and the conflicts you know, in our countries, which really cause countries to lose resources. There are some prospects for investors with the minister making an important announcement during our interview. I'm very happy to announce here uh, that in the third quarter of next year, we're going to have our uh, third licensing round. And this is open for the entire uh, world to come and join us. Uh, and what I actually am calling that the second boom, the second oil boom in Sudan, and I can promise it will be big. Uh, we, ha we are working now very uh, vigorously to prepare uh, the blocks uh, that are going to be offered in terms of the sizes, in terms of the data packages. Uh, a lot of work has been done, but uh, we are now looking forward to perfecting it, and in the right time that will be announced. Despite growing murmurs about China's influence on the continent, the minister believes that any fears of colonization by the world's second largest economy are baseless. Speaking about Chinese influence or uh, foreign companies, I think that's uh, perfectly all right. There is no problem with that. As long as we know what we are getting into in terms of agreements, and as long as we are willing and determined to follow closely the terms and conditions of those agreements and ensure that the benefit for the country is uh, intact and also watched very closely, there is no problem, in my opinion. I have heard a lot of talk about uh, the uh, uh, Chinese, uh, what they call it, Sino uh, colonization uh, to Africa. I honestly think that's completely baseless. Zingai Kunta, SABC News, South Sudan.